peace and blessings, family, sister Ajali. My condolences to the family of sister Letitia Nagisi. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. My apologies if I am not. And my just firm ashe to her spirit. She was a warrioress in her life, in her ambitions. And I ask the forgiveness of anyone who feels like I am uh, undervaluing and maybe undermining the uh, fight that she waged in her life. But I don't mean anything against this sister. I don't mean to be cross in any way. I'm simply angry at whiteism, which so many of us have fallen for. And it is a genocide uh, that's happening. And because we're so beguiled uh, by Satan in all manifold levels uh, that we don't realize that we are worshiping whiteism and i say that because his sister uh, was christian she has passed at the age of 59 i'm 59 and that's probably why i so related to her and she is described in the media as having been an environmentalist she actually even ran for and won uh, legislative office in her state. I do believe it was in Tennessee. No, it was in Georgia, actually, uh, where she was a member of the Georgia Conservation Voters Education Fund and Environmental Advocacy Group. So there's no way that I couldn't relate to this woman and be outraged, outraged at how she was taken out. I'm trying not to make this long, but I do entreat you, beautiful family, to listen to the entire share. I put that work in for you. Like, comment, subscribe if you choose to. I think the subscription, that's wholly up to you, but the other portions of supporting my work have real fortressing might in terms of encouraging me to do what is got to be done because when the more I research man-made radiation the more I know we have detrimentally to the future continuation of ourselves as a beautiful nation of people, the beautiful separate tribe, uh, we have put ourselves in grave danger. So we need someone like me, even if there's never been someone like me, to keep it going. So I thank you for your support. Now that said, uh, Sister Letitia, also known as Tish, really meant her advocacy. She said here, I am the co-chair of Vice President Al Gore's Climate Reality Project Atlanta chapter. As that chair, I get to educate the community on what agencies are doing to protect our planet. And so she she meant this and I could see it because I was just wondering why I had a conversation with my king and he's like, well, you know, maybe she just was put on a particular committee and she wasn't really genuinely an environmentalist, uh, but she actually did work at this. And so for me to know what is hemorrhaging nonstop into our entire planet's environment, changing everything everything so much so uh, that California knows what's going on and they put warnings on all seafood products and seaweed products California proposition 65 warning products containing seaweed contain chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer birth defects and other reproductive harm uh, but they got a whole campaign of sea moss against black us specifically this is why I must rally against whiteism, the worship of white people.
Uh, because you would expect the way that we've been brainwashed to consider that those at the forefront of notoriety of just uh, supposed power centers would have a better understanding, more information regarding, regarding what is dangerous to their communities but nothing of the sort is going on when you have whiteism as the forefront of what you consider to be important. Whiteism is just the smoke and mirrors delusion that white people perpetuate all over the daggone planet, that they are the be all and the end all. They are smarter, they are braver, they are more dedicated to just doing the right thing. And nothing of the daggone sort is true. You need to be about black us because that would be your best chance of running into a sister like me because I'm the only one on the entire freaking planet, which I always say it's a weird to me, but it's the truth who is doing in depth research about the scores of radiation. Am I saying that this sister was taken out by radiation? You know what? At this point in time, you're daggone tootin' I am. Because it facilitates exponentially every other ailment you have because it's just gonna break down every single one of your organs. Going through the book, The Crime of Chernobyl, I mean, those people's bodies were being turned into mush and still are because radiation hasn't gone away. Dr. Yuri Bandashevsky did readings just last year and determined that Chernobyl and all the regions are just as radioactive as they were. And the nuke industry with the just intensive collaboration of every single government shut down doctors like Yuri Bandashevsky and Vasily Nesterenko from assisting the people who were being afflicted by the radiation. So when I see what's happening to us, and then I look at all them dead creatures, which started in the Pacific, so that's not the Wi-Fi. There are going to be folks out there telling you, oh, no, it's the Wi-Fi that's killing all the whales. No, it's not. And I love those people saying that stuff out there, but I know it's the radiation, but as there's cures for that, even more so, it's the whiteism. It's the whiteism. They don't know. They're not going to do that research. They're not going to run across a sister like me, right? And so this worship of what's going on with these folks is going to get them killed no matter what, no matter what they had on their plates and what this sister had on her plate. Oh, my God. This, I, I, I just, you know, blotted out her family members, but this is actually in her home. And they're having a get together and this is what's on the table. This, a, that's the beauty of eating healthy. Your body will not absorb the radiation. Right? I, I, I did a meme where I was talking about 225 kilometers from Chernobyl. They measured 29 billion becquerels of radiation in a little village that was deemed safe. In other villages, they evacuated them if they had more radiation than that. They not only evacuated these villages, they literally dug up tr ditches, trenches, plowed the houses into the trenches, and buried them. I remember watching the movie about Chernobyl where they showed you, you know, they were burying some of the liquidators in coffins, cement coffins, and then pouring more cement on top of that. No, they did that even to the houses. Whole regions were just wiped off the map as if they didn't exist. But that one town I was talking about, Strayaya, yeah, yeah, it's hard to pronounce these Russian names, but it's actually, it's in the Ukraine and Belarus. I think they're conducting the war because they want to hide how many people are dying over there already. We're dying because of Chernobyl, right? And so 
whole regions just disappeared with that one one village and hundreds and hundreds of others uh, they were eating killer amounts of radiation and they said oh no it's safe it's safe and so now they're allowing in fukushima food directly grown in fukushima and they're not going to warn any of us and so if you're eating this stuff you ain't got nothing that is going to resist the incinerating on an atomic level force of radiation. So plenty of us are going to go out and they're going to put out there uh, that it's the creamy crack because I see them advertising that all over the place. Oh, you use, you know, hair relaxers. But the brothers are going to go out too. And they weren't using hair relaxers. They're putting out there all these different things. So you think it's the jab. But the jab didn't kill all those creatures in the Pacific Ocean, right? They're going to figure out ways to confuse us. And they're going to have one ridiculous distraction after another. I'm ignoring them all pretty much. I have to stay current so I can have conversations with our family. But I'm just telling you, this sister, she started out so absolutely beautiful. And... As time went on, wow. And there she is with Stacy, uh, whatever her name is, Stacy Abrams. Whoa, when I see you just stuck to your addictions, I know that is another symptom of whiteism worship, uh, where you're not recognized. This old damn war. These people are waging a war against us. The food they put in components meant to addict you especially if you have an abundance of melanin that msg the hfc's the gmo's this crap comes for your melanin and it knows oh my goodness we are people filled with life uh, but if we're misdirected the wrong way and their movies nonstop encourage, if you want to eat healthy, they portray you as if you're a lunatic. When I'm sorry, I'm 60 years old, pretty much myself. And I run I, on my 60th birthday. I want to run five miles. But then I realized I was like, wait a minute, if I run five miles, that's pretty much just what I do. I should push myself to six miles, which I know is going to be easy too. Okay, I'm just saying I feel fantastic. I have to remind myself I'm not 22 because I feel 22. Right. And so when I see this and she on her Facebook and as I say, I'm not coming against his sister. She really was trying to fight. Uh, but it was just a roll out of have a little want some more Negroes where she just was in at almost every picture after she won office was just at these dinner gatherings, these these parties and, and with all these people. And she, I mean, she even was working for Biden. I'm like, the pedophile? That's what happens when you worship white people. And I'm not saying she wasn't, she, she obviously she had two sons and one passed, unfortunately, right? But I'm just saying, when you, you just think that these people are the bee's knees, they're the smartest of everything, you're going to, there's going to be something missing in your soul. And then you're going to be prone to give in to whatever. You don't have to eat, overeat. You could be addicted to their concepts of what makes you wealthy, or their concepts of what makes you an authority. Uh, but sh with the way they got these foods poisoned, you're not even going to know that you're overeating because you're never going to be able to fill your stomach to an adequacy because there's no nutrition in this crap. And so, yeah, when you're getting that radiation in, because we all are getting it, it's impossible to avoid. But there are ways to get it out. That's what I've also learned studying. Right? Uh, but when you're just taking all this stuff in, whoo, boy, that radiation is just going to just slice you up, slice you up. So people are going to be passing at ages as they are, and we're going to wonder what happened, and these devils are going to provide a convenient lying excuse.
And so looking at the photos of the sister, whereas, you know, in her youth, she had just such a genuine smile. And I don't know what she endured in her life that might have made her struggle just to do the right thing far more difficult. But I did notice that she had a preponderance of, and this was actually lighter than the other ones, but a, a, a lot of dark circles under her eyes. That is indicative of liver and kidney toxicity, where they just can't handle what you're taking in. And I don't know, because it doesn't say what cause of death was. But at 59, do, do, ain't nobody going to tell me that is a natural age to die. I know it isn't. And so this is one of the younger pictures of her. Um, I'm not saying young, young, but like, you know, maybe three, four years ago when she went to Africa and her eyes looked lighter at that point in time. But at the same time, I don't know if this was, you know, Photoshop because this photo here was taken at the same time. Um, and this was, I, I could tell just by the genuineness of her smile, there wasn't as much heaviness. This was, uh, her going to an aquarium uh, with her sons and as I said, one of her sons passed, and, and, and my condolences also for his memory and an ashe to him. Very handsome sons. Um, she was, obviously she cared about the creatures of this planet. And out of the thick of whiteism, she would have never learned the facts about how these devils have killed the Pacific Ocean. And here she was at a speaker at this university's for a Greener Georgia conference. So she, she was real about trying to be of assistance, but the radiation, unless we take extra efforts to mitigate and stop it because it, there ain't a day that Fukushima has stopped hemorrhaging. I just saw where one of the key heads of TEPCO has stated that, you know, we're sorry, it's taken a lot longer than we thought it was. Maybe we should even think about putting a sarcophagus over it. They ain't never put no sarcophagus over Fukushima because it is, it's going to be emitting radiation exponentially doubling each year of for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. S Chernobyl, on the other hand, they had to remove the old sarcophagus after just 30 years of it being on there. How many buildings do they have to take down and rebuild the whole thing because it's crumbling the pieces in 30 years? That's what the radiation does. Even with Chernobyl, it's still emitting the radiation. Uh, but they can put a steel sarcophagus over it. And, then, and they're worried it's going to explode because once you trap those noble gases, uh, they are volatile. They heat up things. When bombs are heated up things. But Fukushima? Oh my goodness, I captured a TEPCO website report that literally it was double the amount of radiation as it was the year before. Do you know I did a video on it and TEPCO took that just whole report down. So your voice, even though you may think it's small, it's gigantic when it's telling the truth, when it's sharing the facts, ain't nothing can stop you, especially if you are off the whiteism smoke. Right? So this is also from the sister. We need climate science. We demand climate justice. Ain't no justice with no truth. If you don't have truth, all you got is a lopsided determination about what's going on. So there's no justice there. Right? The sister, she, she was out there pushing people to vote, but I'm like, vote for what? Vote for what? Two zombie wings on one zombie bird? No, thank you. 
All of this is about whiteism, where white people desperately need to stay in control, and they they caused Fukushima, was deliberate in my firm conclusion. I'm not saying there aren't white people out there fighting to tell the truth about man-made radiation. Thank goodness for them, because I wouldn't know what I know without them writing books. Because you can't Google what's in them books. But at the same time, they get on code when it comes to keeping us in check. Right? They ain't going to embrace us saying, you're the reason why this is going on to our entire planet. But unless you name the drunkard, unless you call the party in the trial guilty, uh, then how are you going to stop them from getting up and saying, well, what you holding me for? Nothing. Right? And so this sister said, I am Letitia. No matter what life throws at me, I'll always pick myself back up again. Life taught me to be strong and to rely on myself. I know that I have what it takes to succeed and I'll always come out on top. This is platitudes, right? Every day we got memes, clever comments. I come up with a bunch of them myself. Unless you put it into tour de force action that embraces all the truth, unless you are not fooled by the liars, it's not gonna work. So there was this, um, gathering that she went to uh, for uh, Georgia State University, Clayton State Lakers. Uh, I don't know anything about that. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying. But when I looked, and, and uh, the photos has no one's face on it, but everybody, everybody was just overweight, just overweight. We have now accepted that as just like natural to who we are. No, it's not. You look at photos from a hundred years ago, you, you would be hard pressed to see this level of obesity amongst us. Uh, but the food is poison on purpose, on purpose. And because it is denatured at the same damn time, we got starving fat people walking around who you are sitting ducks for Fukushima and all man-made nuclear radiation because the, oh my goodness, they don't have to bomb us with anything. One nuclear power plant is the best time release mother of all bombs you could ever find. So that's all I want to share because I'll talk too much and woo, we are so distracted we don't realize that this, this topic is hidden because it's the one that they depend on to get rid of you and me. And I ain't having it. I'm on concentrate on how to be of service in protecting you, yours, mine, and me. We're all one people. On this website. 25,000yearcycle.org is life. I am not joking. When there are other platforms that offer what this one does, including instruction on man-made radiation, uh, uh, then I will say, oh, no, no, we, we're just part of a whole big giant movement. That'll be glorious. I would, oh my goodness, this other is going over. What needs to be going over? But that hasn't happened yet. I want it to happen. But in the meantime, stick around, okay? And you could do that by coming on over here, buying any of these products according to what you know you need, and you will be assisting me in eventually getting our food tested for radiation. We must have that. And right now, the best chance of that happening is through me, your sister, and my king, Dr. Zahir Muhammad. Because otherwise, these the folks who are just addicted to whiteism, they ain't gonna snap out of that. And they have 
have been drilled into thinking is the most intelligent, is the most uh, admirable, is the most envious, is the most respectable, the most educated. I could keep on going with it and it's all a lie. It's all a lie. It's all brainwashing. We've been talked into believing that that's the only way uh, that you're going to save our beautiful selves and this mighty planet. Uh, but nah, it's right here. All of this right here, this is where the healing's coming from. All right? All right. Love you. Straight black family pride. And we's good. Peace and blessings.